what is up guys it is gz tv here and we're back with another video this is a new music friday griselda just dropped a soundtrack album 15 song 45 minute type of thing for the movie conflicted i think it's called uh, griselda obviously has west side gun conway the machine benny the butcher i love their stuff um they've been they've been killing it in hip-hop in the recent years you know we had a pray for paris from west side gun we had from a king to a guy from conway and then we had burden of proof from benny so these guys have really been killing it so i'm looking forward to some fire verses i think there might be a few features i saw in the album cover actually michael rapaport i don't know if you guys know who that is but michael rapaport was on the is um, in the movie of apparently i like my michael rapaport i might have to check this movie out of the soundtrack fire i don't know but anyways we're gonna get into the first few tracks let's get it by the way it also has bsf on it i think that's like a, a group or something i'm not sure we are going to get into the first track it's called just the intro i think it's got pretty much everyone on it let's get into it you've been acting weird man your energy been different talk to me so this is like a scene from the movie, I bet. I keep having a dream, you know, about, about the first time, uh, you know, what? First time, first one, I fuck with me. I'm not really sure what this we'll movie's gonna be on. about. It might be like we'll gang lifestyle in New York. You cross that line, ain't no coming back from that. I'm not sure though. Hey, yo, this could be a good movie this? if everyone on uh, on here is featured in it. This could be good. Not a lot to say. We're going to get into the next one. This is just probably a scene from the movie to preview the movie. Let's get into the next track. Next track is called Mobbin, and it has Chase Fetty. Not sure who that is. Heem. Not sure who that is. I think Billy V has actually made some features with people I know about. And, of course, we have Benny the Butcher. Let's get straight into this track. I'm telling you, the drums that Benny the Butcher's producer be putting on here are crazy. First dude's verse was insane. On the block, like Hakeem a lot, or Dikembe Matumbo, how I'm on my block shit. That was crazy. Kind of a slow start to his verse. I'm assuming they're saving Benny for the end. Is this Benny? I still can't really... I listen to a lot of Benny, but I still can't like distinct his voice from other people. So yeah, first guy actually killed it. I don't know who that was, if it was Chase Fetty. I don't think it was Billy V. It was either Chase Fetty or Heem. Um, oh my gosh, he killed it. He had the best verse on there easily. Some great bars, some great flows. It was overall really good rap performances from everybody, but that first verse really stuck out to me. So let's get into the next one. Next song is called Element of Surprise by Lloyd Banks. Um... I don't really listen to a lot of Lloyd Banks, but I know he's a legend in hip hop, so I'm not gonna disrespect him by saying, "Oh, I've never heard of you before." Let's listen to this. Got like a rough voice. Yeah, the beats so far in this one like are kind of classic. They're not like super old fashioned, but they're classic. They sound great. Um, the rapping is awesome. Lloyd Banks is f flowed really well, better than I expected. I know he's great to a lot of people, but he flowed way better than I expected. Let's get into the next song. The next song is Ain't Hit Nobody with Flea Lord. We did a reaction earlier on in my channel to him. Ito, never heard of him. And West Side Gun. Man, I love Pray for Paris. West Side Gun and Flea Lord. Let's hear what they got, man. Okay, okay. Okay. 
okay, okay. This boy Mike it sounds kind of weird, bro. Turn the mic up, bro. What? Is this Ito? Turn your mic off. Oh, here we go. I can hear him a little better. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Westside Gun. You can tell by the hey yo, like the way he comes in. I think he's got my fa like my favorite voice out of the group and the most distinguishable. You can tell when he's coming in. I really like how the beat wasn't too crazy so we could really pay attention to the lyrical ability of these three. At first, Ito's mic was like faint, like it was super faint. And I was like, is there a problem with the mic? And then all of a sudden he just started rapping. He was he was good. I loved West Side Gun though. West Side Gun's amazing. I love his rap voice. I love his cadences. I love everything about him really. He's a great rapper. Let's get into the next song. Next song is called Pride with Ransom. I think I've heard a, is that a girl or a boy? I'm not sure. Ransom could be a girl. I'm not sure though. I don't, I've heard of the name before. Let's listen. This is a girl, right? Or a dude. Like triumphant. Oh, definitely a dude. <laughs> Yeah, good rapping from Ransom. Pretty much a first listen. Um, beat was great. Probably the best beat on the project or the soundtrack, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, let's get into the next song. I don't have a lot to say. He had some pretty good bars. Um, something about unfastening abroad. Oh, my gosh. He was... Uh, I can't think of the bar. Let's get into the next song. The next track is called Welcome Home DMX uh, with Dave East and Jonesy. I know who Dave East is. I'm not sure who Jonesy is. Are we talking legendary rapper DMX or some other DMX? I don't know. We'll check it out. Pretty good rapping from both. I feel like I've heard that girl singing sampled from somewhere. And at the end, there was another little skit kind of preview to the movie, it seemed like. So, yeah, let's get into the next song. Next song is Squad with, I think I've heard of El Camino. We have Rick Hyde and Smoke Dizza. Neither of those I've ever heard of. So let's listen. It's like the hook. Sometimes you can't tell when someone's gonna start their part because sometimes the mics are a little faint throughout this thing. That song wasn't crazy, but it also wasn't bad. Um. I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It was cool. The hook was cool. The verses were cool. Let's get into the next track. The next track is 330 in Houston by Benny the Butcher. This is a track I've already heard. He released it as a single. This track is fire. So for the sake of the album, we're just going to listen to it. Listen to this beat, y'all. Hey, yo, I had to get something on my chest. Had to get something off my chest, right? Turn me up. Turn me this is one of my favorite tracks from Benny the Butcher. It probably is. She a dirty bitch. Hey, yo, city boy. Quarter 
million in a week. I mean, your bitch can assist with the count. She could be a thief, but because of that mouth, I give her definitely the best song on the album by far. It's going to be the best. That's what I'm predicting. This is an elite song, man. Yeah, not a lot to say. Definitely the best track on the album by far. Benny the Butcher goes in on some of his flows, and the beat is just incredible. Let's get into the next song. Next song is called Voices. It's got Heem, which we heard earlier. Boldy James, a real respected guy in hip-hop. And Chase Fetty again. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me we're going back to back bangers, bro. I don't know what Boldy James sounds like, so let me know when he was in this song. Why he sound like Kodak? Bro, he sound like Kodak. What the hell? Is that Boldy? He sound like Kodak. I'm sorry. So yeah, great track. There was a in the last verse. I don't know who that was, but there was a nice Packers like put cheese to your head like the Packers did or something like that. That was a nice one, especially because that's my favorite team. Clock on the back, Packers clock. Yeah, that was a cool bar. A cool song too. The beat was fire, bro. So yeah, let's get into the next one. Next song is called Rank with Y and Billy. Never heard of them. Let's just listen. Hey, I'm again. He sounds like a less aggressive version of like Comethazine or Smoke Perp, you know? So yeah, that might actually have been one of my favorites on the project. And it's a dude I've never heard of before. It was fire. He was flowing great. The guitar beat was fire. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. The next... We're going to get into the next song. The next song is a skit called I'm Not the Enemy. Let's get into it. Welcome home, boys. So it's like from the movie. Another little preview from the movie. Maybe they're just making the movie based off the album or something. I'm not really sure what they're trying to do here. You have every right to be upset, but let me explain. Ain't not to explain, Brie. About all the other bitches and all that shit. Brie, I've been gone half a decade. Brie, what you want us to do? Pick up where we left off? Nah, but I thought we could at least remain friends. Yeah, bring you dead to me. Oh, what? Really? It's like that? They didn't credit who was saying Thank this, you. by the way. I mean, not a lot to say. It's from the movie, it seems like. I'm not sure who is voicing either person, but yeah. Next track. Next track is Nerve of You by Armani Caesar. I've heard of Daniel Caesar, but Armani Caesar, I'm not too sure about. So let's listen. Oh. It's a girl. Is that the girl that was in the last skit? Could have been. Beats nice. And that wasn't too bad. Um, it was cool. Um, beat was nice. I don't have too much to say about it though. Let's get into the next track. The next track is called Conflicted. It's the title track. It's got Flea Lord. That's it. Flea Lord was pretty nice on the album we reacted to. So let's see what he's got now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Go stay with the fuck is good, Is that brrr, like a Griselda and a BSF thing or? Mm. Uh. He's one of the best rappers on here, honestly. Yeah, honestly, that was one of the best tracks lyrically on this whole thing. There were a lot of good flows, a lot of rhymes, like rhyming syllables, 
Fleeler's the real deal, though, honestly. He's going to probably make a come up this year big time. So let's get into the next track. Next track is called Mission Accomplished. It has West Side Gun. Who else? Armani Caesar, who was just on a track a few tracks ago. And I who else? Benny the Butcher. Nice. Those are some that's a, some pretty good combos right there. So let's get into it. <laughs> Hey yo. Hey yo. She's matching their energy. Oh, she's way better than like Cardi B and uh, Meg Thee Stallion. I can already tell. Oh, oh my god. Just when I think like Flea Lord and oh, our mind, Monty Caesar and oh, West Side Gun got good versus here comes Benny, literally the butcher, chopping the shit out of his beat and going ham. Basketball references. It's like everything. Like he flows great. He's throwing out great references, and it's just awesome to hear it. So, yeah, we're going to get into the next and final track. The next and final track is The Hurt Business. We have West Side Gun again, Smoke Dizza, who has uh, appeared earlier on in the album. And we got Wale. That's interesting. Let's hear this. I never really thought we would see Wale and Griselda. Oh, yeah. Why, why, like, West Side Gun been known to go first. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. I don't remember what Wale really sound like. I think Wale's probably coming last because he's like a rare guest in their music. Mm. This is Wale. Okay. Not the best way to go out, but it was decent. Wale rapped better than I thought. And uh, West Side Gun's perfect for a hook. Like, he's got the energy. Smoke Dizza did good as well. It was a pretty decent beat. A lot of trumpets. They like the trumpets. They like those boom bap drums on here. So, yeah, that's going to do it for the album. Here we are. You've reached the end of the video. We are getting into the final thoughts. I honestly enjoyed this a decent bit. It didn't do too much. Not a lot of replay value. Of course, 330 in Houston is my favorite. I will replay that for who knows how long. Uh, very good track. It's a pretty consistent record. I'm, I'm, I know it's not supposed to be like an album. It's a soundtrack. But I consider this a record. It's 15 tracks collabing between Griselda and BSF. And I think it was pretty nice there are some artists i didn't even know were a part of a group like bsf uh boldy james um el camino uh i don't think wale is a part of it uh there's a few others but yeah overall i'm gonna probably give this about a seven and a half out of ten so yeah leave a like comment subscribe give me feedback notification bell all that it has been gz tv and i'm out peace <laughs>